to drown or to be drowned. Both are excruciating and painful deaths. Both share a glimmering light or a petrifying darkness. And as our ancestors grew stronger and learned to swim, the death of drowning sometimes would be forgotten. But little did they know, amongst their most important adversaries may just lead them in the wrong direction. This is a short but sweet video, hopefully to fill in for a time while I research my latest request. I'm quite tired of not providing my watchers the videos they want, so I hope you can enjoy the very little information I got on this creature, the Bakahastan. It is not that this brook horse is ignored for mythology, but instead overshadowed by its very well-known cousin, the Kelpie. Almost all information you read from the Bakahastan does resemble the Kelpie in a mirror fashion. However, I respect all creatures, living or imaginary, and felt it was indeed important to talk about the Bakahastan regardless of the lack of information I can provide you. Bakahastan comes from Scandinavian folklore, a beautiful brook horse that has been described either as white or black. The only gender I was able to find this creature was female, however, I'm sure there were males, much like how the Kelpie and the Nick was. As described, this horse lives in rivers and freshwater lakes. Often being mistaken as a floating log or overturned boat. Those who are unfortunate enough to walk up to the beast while she is visible amongst the fog of the waters should turn and bolt away. You see, people get tempted by its beauty and idiotically climb on its back. Upon the Bakahastan, they realize they cannot get off and panic starts to face them when the horse turns back towards the depths of the waters and starts to trot. After drowning, no one is quite sure what happens to the victims of a Bakahastan. Does it eat them? Do they decorate their underwater homes of the puffy flesh of the drowned victim? And where have they gone that we no longer hear of sightings of the Bakahastan? Sorry again for the short video, but I thought it was better about giving you a short video than giving you nothing for a couple of weeks. If you'd like to see me to start doing smaller creatures here and there while in between large research projects as I am currently doing right now, feel free to tell me down below. If you'd like to support this channel, check out my Patreon page and become a part of the family. I create videos on abductions, hauntings, serious killers, and more. If you can't support me there, like, comment, and subscribe here, where I post on Tuesdays, though it's not always every Tuesday. I also provide PayPal for those who requested that can't afford to have payments taken out once a month, but would still like to donate. I'd also like to thank my supporting Patreon thus far. Thank you for watching.